And here I have two pieces of fabric that have tailor's tacks marked in there. I could use this as a hemline or I could use this as this could be applied perhaps it would be meeting points for the front of a blouse or a shirt where it needs to be turned back. There's all sorts of applications. Now if I had two pieces of fabric and I wanted to sew them together but I didn't have any other register points um, aside from or cut edges and say they had to meet but just to say for whatever reason I wanted to sew these two pieces of fabric together along a seam line here that I'm marking like this or perhaps the cut edge was curved and there was something special about having to meet that. Now I want to then sew this together but offset for whatever design reason. And I know what my seam allowance is going to be. Now I can put transfer, transfer marks through these layers so that I have some way of registering that meet up point after I've taken it apart. And again you can use Taylor's tack through one layer for this reason, but rather than having it loose, I'm going to do one back stitch and have my first mark there. Let's just get this straight. And I can do the same at this side so I know that my cut edges must meet back up with this meeting point, match point, or meeting mark, whatever you decide that you're going to call it. Just keep it consistent in your sewing. They're very quick to make, they're very easy to remove, and they don't leave any traces of, of marking pencil, or there's no clipping of the fabric that, that is permanent. Um, so, okay, I'm going to then put a few more register points in here. This is pretty straightforward, but there are instances where meeting points are, or seam lines are not so straightforward. But in essence, I'm just going to do the same thing. I go in perpendicular to the cut edge and just do one back stitch. Okay, but I have to leave length because I'm now I'm transferring that information between two layers of fabric. So I'm going to use oh, I've got a bit of a tangle here, but let's get a cleaner one going here. And back stitch, but leave length between. And don't pull those loops quite tight. Now I can remove my stitch or my pins and I can do the same thing as I did before with my tailor's tacks. And there are my meeting points or match points. Now they're different than tailor's tacks because they go perpendicular to the cut edge rather than parallel. So now I know when I sew this together and I have my seam allowance planned, all of those points must meet up and that's what we call meeting points, match points, marking points, whatever you decide to call them.